Hey folks, it's Lindsey Hellison with SBS back in the building over at North Farmington High School. And no, this is not one of the players of the game, but she is a player, no doubt, representing from Wayne County Community College right now, Shanice Hallman. How you doing? Good. Yeah, of River Rouge fame some time yes. ago. Made a stop at Glen Oaks and uh, I was just with your former superintendent, my good friend, my frat brother, and just a close person in my life, Dr. Derek Coleman. He said, you got the um, hottest shoe game in the city. <laughs> well, try not too hard. Try not too hard. Not too no, hard. No, your drip is fine. That's good. So tell me how things have been since you transitioned from River Rouge to being a college athlete right now. Well, my first transfer over to Glen Oaks, it wasn't too good, but it wasn't too bad. Okay. I, I've always used to being around people that I knew. Mm -hmm. But over at Glen Oaks, I didn't know not a soul. Mm -hmm. So it was just different, trying to fit in, trying to get comfortable to it. But we actually ended up going all the way to Nationals. Wow. We ended up losing by three at Nationals. Oh, wow. You think about yeah. that game every day? I do. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. But we played as hard as we could, so mm -hmm. I can be happy about that part. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, you're showing a lot of maturity, and I think, you know, whenever you make a transition, leaving home, going somewhere different, it's always going to be that process. What have you learned from that experience right now? Like a, a strong life lesson. Well, I learned you can't always go somewhere and really know everybody. Because being like in the city, I know a lot of people, or a lot of people know me sure. due to playing basketball or mm -hmm. any other sport that I have played, they mm -hmm. know me. So out there, it was like, dang, I ain't really known, but I had to make myself known. How, what do you do to make yourself known? I just made sure I stayed to the books okay. and the floor. The books and the floor. That's I really love it. That. People miss that. It, it's so easy, so simple, but people get caught up. Why do you think people get caught up in other things and they're not staying focused like they should? Well, I learned most of my staying focused skills from my elders or the people that I look up to. Like, like Dr. Comey, he's one sure. person. Uh, my uncle, my mom. They just keep me to a very high standard. So your uncle's name and your mother's name? Um, Brittany Folks is my mom's name, and then my uncle's name is Daryl Folks. Okay, okay. They keep me to a very high standard. Like, even to this day, when I go to school, I'll be like, if I don't got an A, mom ain't going to like that. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a That's great. discipline thing, really. That's great. Let's talk about your game on the court. How would you describe your game on the court? Um, I would describe me very... Defense is my favorite. Yeah. Start there. I love, it, I love to play defense. I love it. That's one thing I love to do. But I also like getting my team involved. I could be wide open, but I'm going to make that extra pass just so my team feel comfortable mm -hmm. being on the court with me. Okay, okay. There's a, little, a little psychology going yeah, on. Yeah, I don't right like there. being too stingy, but uh -huh. some, sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not. I like to share the ball, really. I love that. I love that. You know, we saw a lot of popularity with the girls' game, of course, coming off the national championship for LSU, Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark. Um, what does it mean to see girls basketball, excuse me, women's basketball, the profile race? What does that mean to you? Um, it really means a lot to me because most of the time I hear people say, oh, girls basketball boring. I don't want to go to no girls game. And it's like, just because we ain't out there dunking or doing the stuff that males can do doesn't mean we not as talented or we not good ourselves. I agree with you, and I say this too. I can appreciate women's basketball when it's high-level, solid players like yourself because you're going to see some great fundamental basketball and it pulls you in. Talk about the line and when guys say, I can play you, I can beat you. I mean, when that's like the only kind of conversation, talk about, you know, well, how they can beat you. Me personally, never a guy says that to me. I just say, okay. Because I'm, I'm, I'm more so of a, like, humble person. I know I can play, and I've played against multiple guys. Uh -huh. But it's just like no need to talk about it when you can just show it. Yeah, don't talk so, about it, be about it. Any male that ever said to me, like, oh, I can beat you, I say, okay, let's play. Let's play. And let's get to it. it. Let's see. I mean, you win, you win. Of course. I win, I win. It's all, it's just all a game. Well, this is what I get from you. I mean, I've been, uh, I have some knee surgery. I said I'm going to get back out there. I won't want to play. I just want to get up some shots with you. That's fine. Yeah, that's a whole different kind of yeah. approach right now. Get up some shots, stack some balls, help you out, support you. Well, you're doing a great job. I'm glad we got a chance to sit down despite your entire high school career, SPS not being able to rock with you. I try to do as much as I can to get more young ladies involved, and um, I make a concerted effort at that. So before I let you go, you shouted out your mom, you shouted out your uncle. Anybody else want to give a shout-out to? Um, 
um, my other two biggest supporters, my grandma, with her name is Rosalind Curry, mm-hmm. and then my granddad, his name is Daryl Folks. Yeah, shout out to them. That's and shout out to River Rouge. Without them, I don't know where I had to be. Hey, I love it. I love it. Well, you're still doing good. You're coming out to support them. I know you got a bright future. So with that being said, this is Lindsay Hellis from SBS, and we'll see you next time. Peace.